Mamprogum Wagdore District Assembly in the Northeast region has constructed and put to use a community-based health planning and services center at Nanguma after an expectant mother in labor lost her baby two years ago due to lack of a health center, but roads in the district remain and more trouble. Nangruma and four other communities are hard to reach, especially from the district capital, Yagaba. These communities are referred to as overseas because of their location. Overseas communities are common in the Mampurugu Magduri district, but the case of Nangruma is exceptional. Social amenities are scarce while the community is also cut off by the Sicily River. In September 2018, a 22-year-old Hafiz Doris, who was in labor for two days, could not get to any health facility because the only way out was by crossing the River Sicily, which had overflowed its banks. After a communal mobilization, an attempt was made. <laughs> She was transported to the Yizesi Health Center on a motorbike riding for 19 kilometers but fainted thrice. Eventually, Doris lost her baby. The district assembly thereby constructed a chips compound but could not be used for four years because there were no equipment and health personnel. After Doris's ordeal, the assembly has put the facility in use. The facility was already there, but it was not furnished with medical equipment to take care of a patient. When it happened, and as at the time that you call, there were already procurement process in place to procure medical equipment to furnish the facility. So it isn't that it, uh, the incident pushed us to go and furnish the place. There were already plans were far advanced to procure equipment to furnish the place to make it functional. The people of Nangruma have been relieved, but another challenge in the district is unmotorable roads. Government's efforts to give roads in the area facelift has hit a snag as contractors have abandoned sight. Portions of roads connecting Walawale, Mampurugu, Mogdiri and Fumbisi are not in good shape. The, the time is coming. They will raise the ban for the politicians to just come. When they come, we will tell them, if you don't consult our road, we will not vote for you people. Or we should just wrote a letter and go and give it to the police. No politician to come to Yama, Bolivia, Michoud, Zoa, Bimbini to do campaign. Because we use our life for you people. We vote, our, you, we vote for you people. Nothing change. But the district chief executive holds a different view. So we don't just go to pay a contractor. When the work done does not grant the reason of a certificate and you say that you have not been paid. They have to work to a certain level. And then the, mini, uh, the roads and highways will come and look at it. That problem will be solved. That way, the issue we will now be looking at is uh, the highway robbery. And it is a security issue. An assemblyman for one of the six electoral areas in Yagaba believes much has not been done by governments to improve the lives of residents. If they are saying Yagaba is a district capital and we don't have good health care center, it's a pity. In terms of our road network, politicians should put it in part of their manifesto, our agriculture. They should put it, not giving money to individual. A concerted effort to address the plights of deprived districts of the northeast region is a priority of electorate. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thank you so much for your time.